What's up YouTube? Uh, this is a short video on a modification I did for my uh, AT&T broadband modem. Uh, I upgraded my service to a little bit faster service and they swapped out my old modem for this modem, the GB, uh, BGW210. It's a tall one or whatever. Uh, the power cords were different from my old modem to my new modem for the for the battery backup so what I did was the voltage and the amperage is the same output from this battery backup to the new modem so all I did was I cut off the head part from the battery backup spliced it with the new one I don't know if you can see it over there right there Spliced it with the new one and it works fine. Uh, heat shrink tubing on both connections. All you gotta know is is the white line on your battery backup is positive. The solid black is ground. On this kind of connection here, when you strip it, uh, there'll be one outer wire and then a, a white wire on the inside. Uh, I'll show you that real quick. <clears throat> this one right here that white wire is positive the one that does not have a shield on it that's your ground um, like I said it has the same voltage 12 volts 3 amps output same thing like the battery backup 3 volts or 12 volts 3 amps uh, doing this will probably uh, void the warranty so do it at your own risk. Uh, this is from the battery backup. The only difference was this one was smaller than the new one that's on the modem. It's a little bit fatter, uh, this part. So I snipped it, heat shrink tubed it, made sure I got the polarities right. And that's very important. It has a diagram here. It shows you what's positive and what's negative. The inside wire is positive. The outside wire is negative. Other than that, do it at your own risk. Uh, the older version of that modem had a battery backup in it, but now they switched to these new modems and it does not have a battery backup built in it. So the BGW210 does not have a battery backup, the newer ones. The older ones did. And that's it. Just wanted to show that to you right now. I just wanted to plug it in and see. Uh, I didn't connect it to the outlet yet. But yeah. So if you have a Belkin battery backup and you don't want to toss it, and you have a newer AT&T modem, you could splice the old connection and do some heat and treat tubing and, you know, it works fine. As you can see, the little green lights on. Front lights are on. And that's it. Alright, till next time. See ya!